and this is two full quads look at it beautiful hey everybody how y'all doing are you hey okay in your neck when we dry them up too cool now go too deep you know yeah yeah fair watch you know know our troops see that apple cider vinegar and our troops Up at right, make them get saturated in the gravy and all of that. On today's episode of the Jamaican cooking journey, I'll be sharing with you a juice tutorial. We're going to be making some carrots and cucumber juice. I'm going to be adding some sour orange juice. You could add lemon or lime if you do have, and also I'm going to be using some ginger sounds refreshing it is refreshing from the cucumber is there and we're gonna see how this combination of cucumber and carrot goes thanks to all my patrons that are making my patreon page possible and those of you who'd like to become a member just look in the description of this video and then there's a link you can click it it will lead you right to my patreon thank you so what i'm gonna be doing just now i'm gonna be doing some scraping and chopping so the very first thing i'm going to be doing my cucumbers are all washed so i'm just going to take off this little piece here and you know when i peel cucumber like that so i'm going to start chopping my cucumbers oh i want them and cucumbers are mainly water so we don't have to when i feel do not only pa, you know fine chopping so we can just chop it like this seeds and all and all of that i'm gonna finish cook, chopping this cucumber and return okay now so cucumbers are chopped so what we're gonna do my garlic my ginger is clean i'm just gonna slice my ginger in there and try to get ginger that is ripe that when you're slicing it you see that it's properly ripe it's yellow and nice like this and in no white and it no young and big and bugu bugu and no have no you know no, some of the big fat one them them not really are going with nothing you know and i always encourage my cooking family to always get ginger we have nice ripe ginger ginger that is to perfection but when you smell it you smell the real jamaican ginger eh? okay now on to the carrots we are going to be scraping our carrots so use your scraper i'm using this little um, paring knife you want to just scrape it lightly okay don't bother to peel just as though you feel comfortable with your scraper do the same i feel comfortable with my paring knife so you're gonna scrape it just like this you have any little part you can just scrape it out and we're good to go all like that so it's don't screw on your wash and then you scrape and then as soon as you scrape just showing how you to do this you rinse it under the running water why you want to rinse it under the running water there are going to be some a little of these residues not residue skins from the carrot when you scrape it's gonna be left on the carrot so you just rinse it on the running water then you see it coming down in the sink what i'm talking about so you want to cut these now thinner why the carrot is more chewy so you want to slice them thin because we want everybody to blend out nice cucumbers are soft so you can cut them chunky carrots are chewy tough in jamaica I would say you cut them thin you have gotten the picture of how to prepare the carrots. Scrape and then you rinse thoroughly, separately under running water and then you slice thin. We're going to finish this, come back and then just blend, put this juice together. I'll catch you in the next clip. Okay, so now we have got things set up for blending. So what I like to do, I like to mix together with all that I'm blending. I like to just get it all mixed together. Mm -hmm. all right so we can have an idea of the proportion thing of a look so i am going to be doing this in two parts so i'm gonna get some in right now so i'm gonna it's so this is a fruit and a vegetable juice because carrot is a vegetable and the cucumber is a um is a oh they're both no they're both veggies what am i saying they're oh <laughs> they're both veggies are both veggies so cucumber is vegetable yeah not grown on any tree and so yeah so i made a mistake right there family so wow seems like i got my blender all too much would, it, would i say 
No, I don't think so. I've got my water here. And I'm going to just throw until I have it right here. Bear in mind that when it starts um, blending, it's going to become finer. And then when it becomes in finer particles, we are going to have um, more um, juice and stuff in there. And then the, 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 the cucumber also and the carrot are going to release their own juices with this water. I'm going to put it. And somebody might want to ask, Miss Debbie, if I don't have a blender. I don't think there is anybody at this point that don't have a blender. Unless they choose not to have one. Well, I guess you can do some grittering. Hmm? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to just go right now. And I'm going to be putting it straight on my blender. It just says blend. So I'm just going to be blending straight through. <laughs> So we have got here our very first um, blending. Let us see what it looks like. So we're gonna. I'm gonna be doing it two ways. I'm gonna be doing it through this big strainer, and I'm gonna do it through a finer strainer at the end of it. I normally like to leave it until it, you know, it strains out by itself. Because at this point, if you use a spoon you're gonna be having some of these extra that you don't want in there bear in mind if you have your juicer you could do this in your juicer okay and you all of this you would get all of this the juicer has that powerful so if you want to do it in your juicer but you will get less juice but getting less juice you also can dilute it with your water because it when you get the natural juice from the fruits and stuff veggies it's very strong so i find that you can always use some water to do some dilution so i'm gonna leave it to strain out a bit and then i'll return to you this is my thing from my first blending i'm moving on to my second blending okay so this is our second juicing family second second we're gonna leave it there until it does the same as the first one so this is the next patient and we are giving it the same treatment and i'll come back do the second strain and i want you to look at the color that we're having okay so it is time for sweetening i have the second straining to do i'm gonna add my my my, 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 my juice my sour orange as you have lemon so i'm gonna add this amount i would say this is a cup of sugar i it's i don't think it's over a cup so you do you with your sweetening family do you use your sweetener of choice i'm doing mine do you so at this point now i am going to add my juice my citrus juice this is to help to bring the flavors together so and you don't want to go too crazy not because this juice citrus might be too good for but a juice is good you don't want to go overboard family because let me tell you when you're putting together fruit juices or vegetable juices even though the citrus and the ginger is good for you you really don't want to go too crazy because too much of it can just throw off the taste of the juice just try to blend just try to get that method of blending and let the thing just you know just everything just fifth fall in you know sometimes you get some juice you realize that there's too much lime too much lemon sometimes there's just too much ginger and at the end of it you, see, you keep just getting the citrus taste and the, and the ginger taste and whatever and honestly the fruits that you use to make the juice you're really not getting those teas so i'm gonna be dissolving my sugar and my sour orange juice i am using this to bring everything together you can taste to your liking and if you have been doing juice over a period of time there is something that's in you that tells you that you don't need nothing more you know so i'm finishing this i'm what i want my sugar to be properly dissolved and then i'm gonna come and then i'm gonna show you the second string properly dissolved and at this time making your juice you should have already tasted for your flavoring blend i have just tasted mine and it's there okay so we're gonna do our second strain these are what we're trying to 
so that is how it goes when you do it in the blender and that is why this is still considered drink as opposed to when you do it in your mixer and you get juice you get the natural juice some people don't classify this as juice they classify it as drink so i'm gonna go strain all of this and i'm gonna pour it in a see-through jug or a um transparent jug that you can see okay okay you can see the color of this and the color of the drink this is brandy i'm just gonna put a shot or probably a shot and a half this is quite optional let me repeat family this is optional okay if you want it you do it if you don't want to you just leave it i'm gonna stir thoroughly dissolve it now we're gonna look at our finished drink or juice some people call it drink i told you and this is two full quarts look at it beautiful for me i would never serve this with ice i would leave it until it's properly chilled and then I would serve from my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your palate, and most of all, to your stomach. It is carrot and cucumber juice done just for you. Please do enjoy. Now, family, you can do this in your home. You try to do it as I showed you, you would never regret it. Now, family, there is a distinct flavor here, the cucumber and the carrot together so as i said before i would never use ice some people classify this i told you as drink because we had it water and i might want to say so too tell me what you think in the comment section is this a drink you saw how i prepared it or is it a juice i would say it's a drink too because we had it water okay but if i did it in the juicer i would still because i would have to add water if you do this in the juicer it would be so strong you would want to dilute it let us say juice for now okay so i'm saying it has such a nice flavor you wouldn't want to use ice when you use ice to service the strength of the flavor is not there you saw how many carrots i think i added about a pound and a half of carrot and i added two large cucumbers I, it was was it three dad or two large cucumbers and a small one so that was cucumbers are very heavy i would say it's a pound and a half of cucumber and a pound and a half of carrot yes i would say so half and half and then to give it for it to, to give you this is two quarts i think that is quite strong good quite good so if you had ice to this it's gonna be all weakened but if you want to add ice add ice my preference leave it to chill for two hours and then i would serve just as it is remember to be you do you most of all love you some cucumber carrot juice just for you in this holiday season even when it's not holiday season have it in the refrigerator serve to your guests well i mean i think nobody can come by no car no covid so whatever enjoy it to the best of your ability with your family remember in the description of this and all my other videos and lives all my info will be there remember to make sure you're subscribed it's the holiday season i'll be coming bigger and better you know people are looking for recipes juice casseroles all of that we're coming with them thanks for the love thanks for the support thanks once more to my patrons and i just want to say just be safe and make sure you do some homemade cooking and juicing.